mutations can have diverse effects on androgen receptors. A mutation which affects the ligand binding region where the hormones bind could affect the ability to bind the hormone or its specificity. So, for example, one uh, mutant could bind the hormone cortisol instead of androgen to be activated. Mutations in the DNA binding region affects the ability of the receptor uh, to bind to the androgen response elements. Some splice variants can result in constitutive activity. This means that the receptor does not have to bind a hormone like testosterone in order to go to the uh, nucleus and activate transcription it would constitutively tell the cell that it had bound androgen hormone even when it had not. Some mutations could affect the levels of expression of androgen receptor proteins, either making more or less available, which would affect how sensitive a cell was to, say, testosterone. Other mutations might duplicate the gene, which is located on the X chromosome, and thus with more genes or overexpressed genes, a cell would be uh, more responsive to low levels of testosterone than it otherwise would be. Areas of genes where there are repeated trinucleotides, such as CAG or GGC in specific regions of the androgen receptor gene, these areas are vulnerable for mistakes when gametes are made and crossing over occurs, and the number of repeats can expand or retract. This uh, can affect the risk of prostate cancer and, in some cases, breast cancer. And there are ethnic variations where, uh, in general, members of an ethnic group have shorter or longer numbers of repeats, and this can be correlated with rates of cancer. Shorter CAG repeat lengths, for example, are associated with a higher risk of prostate cancer and an earlier age of onset. Given that there are many types of androgen receptor mutations, there is certainly a great diversity in effects. Some effects affect cancer risks, such as prostate cancer. Many can cause androgen insensitivity, also known as testicular feminization, which can be complete or partial. In this condition, the cells do not respond to the presence of androgen, and so therefore the tissue that would have developed into the penis might resemble the clitoris. The tissue that would have developed into the scrotum might resemble labia majora. There may be effects on the development of body hair or pubic hair. Uh, the condition known as hypospadias could result in which the urethra opens somewhere other than the tip of the penis on the underside of the penis. Androgens are used in diverse tissues in addition to the reproductive system. And so, for example, androgen receptor mutations can cause a form of muscular atrophy in which motor neurons degenerate, resulting in cramps and weakness.